Yo, what is going on guys? Jackie here. So today I will be showing you the best Apex Legends settings, uh, config, auto exec, and in-game for the best FPS and the most amount of FPS um, and the least amount of input lag. So first off, we want to go into our video settings in-game. This is the very first step that you want to do and you want to set everything to the lowest. Field of view and sprint view shake is preference. I like my field of view maxed out and I like my sprint view shake on minimal. But everything in the advanced settings here you want to set to the lowest or disabled just like I have them right here and this will provide the most amount of FPS obviously. So that's the first step you guys want to do is just go in game and set all of these settings to the lowest it can go or just disable it. Alright guys so for this next step you want to make sure that your game is closed out completely and you do not have your game running at all. What you're going to want to do is you want to go to your C drive and you want to go to users, go to your name and then go down to saved games, respawn, apex, local, and inside of here you will see three files, um, previous game state, settings, and video config. All we want to worry about is the video config file. Once you're in this folder, you want to open it with notepad. Uh, I'm going to be using notepad++, which is basically just the same thing. And once you're inside of here, you want to change a couple things. Uh, you want to turn ragdoll self collision to zero this will be uh, one by default this will just disable ragdolls which will help with fps you also want to change matte depth feather enable to zero uh, and then you want to scroll down a little bit and find our lod switch scale this right here uh, by default i think one is high and then 0 0.6 is low uh, so 0 0.35 i find is a very good balance between the game looking still decent and uh, giving an FPS boost. So I would I would recommend 0.35. If you guys just want to set it to low, then change it to 0.6 uh, or 0.5 would be good as well. So yeah. Uh, and then scroll down a little bit more and you want to find CSM enabled. This is basically the shadows in game. Uh, and we obviously want to disable shadows, which will give us an FPS boost. Some people like playing with shadows. If you're one of the people who um, like the game with shadows, uh, then I would just recommend leaving it on, but disabling it will give you more FPS. So if you're just looking for the max amount of FPS possible, then you want to make sure you turn CSM to zero. Uh, after that's done, you can just save this file and close out of it. Uh, and then make sure you right click on video config, go to properties and check read only and hit apply. If you don't do this, then uh, your, all these settings that you just put inside the video config will be overwritten if you change anything in game. Um, but if you tick read only, then that will make sure that this all the settings that you just saved in here will not get overwritten. So just make sure you tick read only and that's it for step two. All right, guys, so the third step is the auto exec. Um, so to find the uh, location where you want to put your auto exec, you just want to go to where you installed Apex Legends. So I have Apex installed on my SSD uh, in the Apex folder here and then once you're inside this directory, you want to go to the CFG folder and inside here, I already have an auto exec, but I'll just be making a new one to show you guys how to do it. So uh, the fastest and easiest way to make an auto exec is just to take this right here, this config default file and copy and paste it and then just rename it to auto exec. I'm going to put two C's because again, I already have an auto exec and then just double click it to open it and control A to select everything inside of this uh, auto exec or yeah of this notepad and then just backspace to delete it all and uh, the only two commands that we're going to add is fps max uh, 180 so fps max 180 also all these commands will be in the description below uh, and cl show fps zero um, so with one of respawns recent patches they made it so that a lot of console co or a lot of auto exec commands were obsolete because a lot of people were using it to remove muzzle flash and remove smokes and just exploit the game so the only um there's a, a lot of limited commands that you can use for the auto exec uh these are two of them that work there there isn't any fps commands unfortunately uh, all these commands will do is this will max this will cap your fps at 180 and the reason we're capping it at 180 is because uh, Apex Legends, weirdly, I don't know why, but if you play over uh, 190 FPS, then the game kind of like breaks. Uh, I don't know if it has to do with the engine or anything like that, but I think it's just coded really 
badly. So um, even if you have a 240 Hz monitor, you still want to cap it at 180 just because uh, the game kind of freaks out if you go over like 180, 190. So um, I would just recommend keeping it at 180. So that's what this command is for. And then CL show FPS zero. Uh, usually I would recommend that you put this to four. This will give you the, uh, the most minimalistic um, FPS display at the top left of your screen. But the reason why we're disabling this right now is because there's currently a bug in Apex where if you have CL show FPS enabled, um, sometimes your, your HUD will disappear completely for like a couple seconds. And it's really annoying, especially during fights. Not sure why that's a bug, but it's probably going to get fixed uh, sometime soon, hopefully. And when it does, then you can just change this to four and you will be able to see your FPS um, if that's your type of thing. If you don't like seeing your FPS, then leave this at zero. But yeah, once that's done, uh, you just want to save the file and now you have an auto exec. So once you're done with the auto exec and you have it in here, you want to make sure that your game is able to uh, boot up and read your auto exec every time you launch the game. So to do that, you want to launch origin uh, launcher. And once you're in here, you go to my game library, right click on Apex Legends, go to game properties and then go over to advanced launch options. Once you're in here, you want to type in plus exec auto exec dot CFG. Again, this will be in the description below for you to copy and paste. Um, and, but you just put this inside of the command line arguments and just hit save. And that's pretty much it. Every time you launch the game now, it will uh, read, from, read those commands from your auto exec. All right, guys, the next step is to change some values inside of your NVIDIA 3D panel. Uh, so your NVIDIA 3D settings. I actually have a dedicated video on this, but I thought I would include it in this video as well. So this obviously only works for NVIDIA users. So if you're AMD, then unfortunately this will not work for you. Um, but all you want to do is just right click on your desktop and go to uh, NVIDIA control panel and just wait for it to load up here. And once it's loaded up, you want to go to adjust image settings with preview and make sure that uh, use the advanced 3D image settings is ticked and then click take me there and this will bring you to the manage 3d settings page um, and to make sure that we're not messing with any other games and only apex legends what you want to do is click on program settings and again wait for it to load and once you're here you want to select apex legends from this drop down list if you don't uh, see it in here then you can click add and navigate to where you installed it so if you click add and then you click browse and then you want to browse for where you installed it. In my case, it would be in games, Apex, and then this right here, r5apex.exe is the file that you're looking for and you just hit open and it will put it in here. So I already have mine in here. Again, you just select Apex Legends. And then these are the settings that you want to use for the max amount of FPS. So you want to turn uh, anastrophic filtering off, oops, off, FXAA off, gamma correction off, anti aliasing mode off, anti-aliasing setting use uh application controlled anti this right here anti-aliasing mode application controlled transparency off cuda gpu uh click use these gpus and then select all the gpus you have if you have multiple i only have one so i'm just going to use that uh pre-rendered frames for the least amount of input lag you want to choose one multi-sampled aa turn this off uh this you just select your gpu Power management mode, obviously we want to prefer maximum performance. Uh, refresh rate, this is only if you have a high refresh rate monitor, but obviously you want to select highest available. And then shader cache, this is dependent on where your game is installed. So if you have Apex Legends installed on a fast hard drive, like an SSD, um, then you want to turn shader cache on. If you have Apex installed on like a hard drive and it's really slow, then you want to turn shader cache off. Uh, I have it installed on SSD, so I will leave mine on. Texture filtering, you want to turn on. Uh, this doesn't really matter, I just leave it on allow. Uh, and then texture filtering, you want to select high performance. Uh, Trilinear optimization, you can leave this on. Threaded optimization, turn this on. Triple buffering, off. And vertical sync, definitely turn this off. We don't want vertical sync because it will just add input lag. And then virtual reality pre-render frames. This is for VR, so uh, this doesn't really matter at all. I'm just going to change it to one 
Uh, again, this doesn't matter at all, so it doesn't really matter what you pick. But that's pretty much it. These are all the settings. Uh, I'll just scroll through them for you guys. You guys can slow down the video, obviously, or go back and pause it. But after that's done, you just hit apply. And after that, all of these settings will be applied every time you launch Apex Legends. So those are the NVIDIA control panel settings. And uh, next up, guys, just a little like performance tweak for in general for Windows. Uh, if you guys didn't already know this already, if you guys actually hit start and type MS config and then click enter, uh, it will launch this right here and you can go to services. Uh, click on hide all Microsoft services and right here you just want to turn off everything that you don't use So for example like this Adobe stuff this Dropbox stuff Google I Turned all of that off because I don't want that starting with my computer uh, And then also you can right click on your taskbar go to task manager Startup and inside of here you can also turn off a bunch of things that you don't want launching in my case, like right here, iTunes, I would disable that because I don't use iTunes that often. So I would just disable that so it doesn't launch with my computer. Um, and anything here that's just, you know, that you don't use, uh, you can just disable. Also, another thing is hardware acceleration. So for things like Spotify in here, um, if we go to settings and we go down to advanced settings, make sure that you have uh, hardware acceleration turned off. There's also this feature in Discord as well. If you go into the Discord, you can go user settings. Actually, let me disable streamer mode. User settings, uh, and then you want to go to Windows settings, or no, not Windows settings, appearance, and then hardware acceleration, make sure this is turned off. This is also in Chrome as well. So if we go to the Chrome settings here, you just click on this little the, these three dots and you go to settings and then you scroll down to system uh, hardware acceleration make sure that's turned off and that will give you more fps as well um, and then another thing you want to go to your start menu go to type in this and then find this pc go to properties and then once you're in uh, this screen right here you want to go to advanced system settings and once you have this open you will see this window pop up and you want to click on advanced, go to performance, hit settings. And then in here you want to click on custom and you want to basically copy the settings that I have. So this is not what yours will look like, but what I have right here is optimizes windows for um, just snappier performance and it will make it so that you have more resources for your game. So just copy the settings that I have here and you'll be good to go. So yeah, um, other than that, that's pretty much it for my guide on how to get the most FPS in Apex Legends. Um, if you guys enjoyed the video, please do leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope this helped. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.